into overtime here tonight. Routen, Stevendorf, Harris, Sonawaku, and Flynn against Ruoff, Ebanks, Bryant, Smith, and Butler. Wellington Smith has four fouls. Eric Devendorf has four fouls. One aside. West Virginia is switching all the screens up top. Switch right there in the ball screen. Switch back. Milwaukee looking for help. Can't find anybody. Still looking. Devendorf dumps it off. Harris with a layup. There's the second field good tonight for Harris. You know, Rinzi Anawaku didn't lose his poise. And when he was stuffed in the post, nowhere to go. He could have easily walked or thrown that ball up for grabs, but he didn't. Eric Devendorf just made a great play. Got to keep the ball off the sideline. Get it into the middle of the floor. And when you get it on the sideline of the baseline, you want to get it there because you got a shot. Running out of time, down to six. Butler will have to take a 25-footer. And Harris snags the rebound. A win over Seton Hall two nights ago. A six-overtime win over Connecticut last night. And now into overtime here against West Virginia. Johnny Flynn, 35 minutes two nights ago. 67 minutes last night. Every minute so far of this game here tonight. Brown is using a screen from Anuaku. Anuaku with a strong offensive rebound. Flynn with the cut and the finish. Anuaku just out muscled West Virginia for that ball and a great cut by Flynn. Johnny Flynn part smile, part grimace as he goes back down the court. How much do the Orange have in it? Smith off to Bryant for the baseline jumper. Not there. Anuak to the rebound. A great tip by Andy Routens. He couldn't get the ball, but tipped it to a teammate. That was a smart play. And Flynn very slowly into the front court. They've got the lead. They've got the ball. Milking the clock a little bit. Two possession game. They can afford to do it. Down to 10. And a foul on Smith. Not left the court tonight. 144 minutes in three nights. And counting. Yep. And the lead up to six and counting after the free throws. That foul knocked Wellington Smith out of the game. Cam Thurman replaces him. In the first five overtimes last night, Syracuse did not lead for a single second. And then took care of business in overtime at number six. And there's Andy Routens again defensively. He's got the reputation as a shooter, and he can really drill it. That young man is a very good defender that understands how to play angles and how to play in Jim Beheim's zone defense. Win the kick. Routens the three. Harris races it back out of there. Got to get a shot off. He just panicked. Yeah. Yeah, there's still plenty of time. He just heard somebody yelling shot clock. Then you listen a minute and a half to go. And Paul Harris has to shake it off and move on to the next play. Butler. Oh, tough shot off the glass. 21 for Butler. How do you see the basket? You know, Anawaku was all over. It was like an eclipse. And the Orange will take it into the final minute. Normally, you just say, we're in overtime. You feel like saying overtime number one here tonight, given what happened last night. Under a minute to go, Syracuse with the ball and a four-point lead. All in a set now in the last 10 seconds of the shot clock. Evendorf creating. And a foul. Bob, as a defender like Anawaku is going to do. They were 23 for 26. And this from a team that shoots only 64%. A foul would have taken Devendorf out of the game. He knew he missed it and wanted to get after it, but he has to hit the rim first, otherwise it's a violation. 
Seconds ticking away on West Virginia. Ruoff off balance. Rebound. And Kevin Jones is fouled. If they don't, don't tell him. Got them both. Timeout, Bob Huggins. 67 out of 70 last night. Hasn't come out of the game tonight. Anjanov thinking about the home run pass. Settles for Harris. And the foul. It takes a two possession game now. They've got to get the ball down court quickly. And I think they got to get to the rim. Four point game. Not a good foul. Paul Harris called for the foul. Pretty impressive stuff. That's counting against Syracuse. Nothing but net for both of them. Anjana to inbound. No timeouts. And a foul on Devin Ebanks trying to slow down the progress of Paul Harris. Big ones here in overtime. This is the big one. One possession game. No timeouts. Question is, do you foul? And if so, when? He fouled him. Devendorf credited with a block. No foul by West Virginia. Devendorf the layup. Well, he looked like he hit him on that play. He bangs for three, but it's all a moot point now. The Syracuse Orange. 24 hours removed from a six overtime game. Need one overtime period here tonight to beat West Virginia and advance to the championship tomorrow night. What a gutsy performance by Syracuse. Was credited with a block. You can see Bryant going up with that. Nope, he didn't even touch it. Well, he, you know, he caught him at the end. It was after the shot was released, but there was definitely contact here. And that is, that's unusual, that wouldn't be called. There was definitely contact, but it was after the shot was released.